Hello and welcome to another LumaFusion tutorial. Today's topic is callouts. I know I've already made a video about this, but I want to give you an update, um, just some thoughts I had, and of course, some new cool designs you can make. And the topic of today's tutorial is not just callouts. I will also give you some steps uh, on which you can go along to create your own designs very easily and just change the designs easily so you can create different callout designs pretty fast. And I will also show you how to use those designs pretty good. Of course, we are starting by creating our base design. Therefore, we are opening a new project. Let's call it simply callouts. We choose a frame rate of 60 to have fluent animations. First, we are creating one main title and changing the length to 10 seconds because I think that's a pretty good length for most callout. You won't need much longer ones. Do so, just change the length by copying them. Then we are double tapping it and we are deleting the text. Then we clone this layer two times, so we got three layers in total and stacking them above each other. And now we are starting with the first layer. Double tap to edit, go to titles and add a shape. Resize the shape until it fills the whole screen and change the face color to green. That's it with the first layer. In the second layer, we will create a callout point, so the starting point of the callout. Therefore, we are also adding a shape, but changing the shape to an oval. And we will, we want a perf nearly as possible perfect circle. So like this, right in the middle of the screen. Now we are changing the size of the circle so it's a bit smaller. Maybe oh, like this. And as always be right in the middle of the screen like this, so 50x and 50y. Then select this shape and clone it two times. So we got three in total. Now go to the second shape and change the face color to the same green as the background and change the size or scale and make it a bit bigger. Then go to the last one and make it even bigger than the second one. Now reorganize them like this. Now we've got our point on the target for the animation. This is also already a pretty cool design. So we've got a center spot and a halo around it. To match the sizes perfectly, so we want the same thickness of the green circle halo and the outer white one. So we are matching those with about the same thickness. So pretty much like this. Then we are going to frame and fit to the first frame. So zero, zero, zero. And we're moving it into the corner and making it smaller. This is way too big. So let's maybe this size already looks pretty good. What we are adding now is an animation. Therefore, we are adding a keyframe at one, uh, zero seconds and one keyframe at one second. Then we are jumping back to the first keyframe and we are changing the size to zero. And what animation we have not right now is just like this bounce effect. We can also upgrade this bounce effect. Pretty simple. 
just go like another 20 frames at another keyframe. Now go to the middle keyframe and just make it a bit bigger. So get, we get this rebounds. So like this. Looks pretty good. Now we added the third layer. Of course, we go to titles and add shapes. We keep this rectangular shape and making it just a bit slimmer. Maybe like this. Then we are changing the rotation to 27.5 degrees. To be precise, we can use those buttons down there. And then we are moving it right in the middle of the circle up there. And we are adding, an, oh, it's maybe just easier to clone this one because then we get exactly the same size, but we are changing the position. We are rotating it to 90 degrees. If it's gone, so like this. And we are moving it like that, so it points down to the bottom. What's important now is that the corners are matching exactly. It's not perfect yet, so we are using the center X and center Y buttons to move it around. And now it looks perfect. You have to be very precise doing this. And of course we have to add animation. Therefore we are going to frame and fit and cropping. And once the animation of the point stopped, so at one second we add a keyframe and another one at two seconds. At a keyframe at one second, we are sliding the bottom slider to the top and the right slider to the top. And what happens? Once the animation of the point is done, these bars will roll out and we have a nice point on which we can add the title. So right at the bottom bar, like around here. Next step is to save it with, of course, 4K and extreme settings. We want the highest possible quality. I think 150 megabits is a bit too much, so 100 is right. The best choice, as I said before, the next step is to change the designs. So this is a really thick design. We have a thick point and thick bars. So we want a slimmer design right now. And the cool thing about this is we have to just have to change a few things. For example, the size of this point and the halos, making a nice and very slim design, slim halos. So maybe like that, it's pretty slim. And of course you have to create slim bars as well. Maybe like that. It's this looks pretty good. Now, of course, we have to change the directions. So we are st still matching the corners, the bars. This is actually a work getting the more annoying, the slimmer the bars are. Of 
but this one looks pretty good. What we've got now is a slim design with the same animation because the animation still works. Pretty cool. And the next step is I will show you how to add those layers or those callouts to a image or video pretty easily. So our nearest callout is the top one. And it has a very slow animation. If we want the animation to be faster, we are simply changing the speed of the playback. So maybe three times. Looks pretty good. Now we are changing the length so it's matching the length of the clip beneath. We're double tapping to edit. We go to color and FX to the key lock symbol and we add the green screen key. Now we are playing around with the sliders. My recommendation as always is to move them to these vertical bars to see if the animation is good. Because if we are changing these sliders, it will look worse. So, but this one is pretty good. And as you see, it's way too big, so it's not really matching the frame and it's not the point. But what we can do is just simply, simply change the size. For example, if we want to let it point to the motorcycle, we can do it like that. But maybe you don't want it to point downwards, maybe you want it to point upwards. So what you can do is, if you want to let it point upwards, can just simply rotate it by 180 degrees and let it point to the motorcycle or if you want it on the other side you just can mirror it and it's doing the same it's still playing back the animation just upwards and that's it pretty easy to handle and very universally usable now we have to add some text because otherwise this wouldn't have any sense. So we're adding an overlay title at the point where the animation stops, which is at about 40 frames. And we're editing this text by double tapping it. Let's call this Honda 250 Supermoto and just move this text around. Now it's way too big, so we can change the size. And moving it to the callout title. So this is pretty boring right now. So we can of course add a animation to the text. So we go to the first frame, add a keyframe, then let's go on like 15 frames, add another keyframe, go back to the first keyframe. So we have to go to cropping, so again, keyframe at the first keyframe and then about 15 to 30 frames later, we just go and move the right slider this way until the text disappears. And what we've got now is the animation of the callout and an animation of the title. And both are rolling out. And it's pretty cool, pretty easy, pretty simple. Very fast to edit during a big project. And that's the point when creating those green screen Kia callouts. It's very universal. You can use it pretty easy, adapting it pretty easy. And that's why I'm showing you how to use them. Again, if you're too lazy to create them by your own, they are included in my LumaFusion Ultimate Bundle. I've got like 15, 20, 25, I don't know, a lot of those callout designs in my LumaFusion Ultimate Bundle. So go and check it out. Link is in the info box right in the top right corner or in the video description down below. Uh, go and check it out and of course don't forget to give this video a thumb up 
and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It would be nice to activate the bell as well so you won't miss any video in future. And we will see each other in the next video. Till then, bye. Thank you.